Have you been wondering how the Mother Earth TerraCraft potting soil performs? Follow us along on this Know Before You Grow series to see. Today we're looking at the Mother Earth TerraCraft potting soil and the first thing I want to look at is the price. Now the price per cubic foot on this TerraCraft potting soil was right at $22.03. So when we compare that, that puts us right at a score of 5 on our scorecard for price. Now once we've purchased this soil, the first thing we're going to do is open it and see what it smells like. So Chris, what were the smells that hit you first uh, with this Mother Earth soil? Yeah, this was a, a very pleasant soil. very neutral earthy just smells like healthy healthy soil i really i really like this one i actually scored this one as a, a nine which is one of the highest scores to date yeah i had this one scored really high um as well uh first smell yeah it just smells really earthy it almost reminds me of the smells i get from finished vermicompost at home and so because of that it just smells healthy and fertile to me i'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, score that a nine also all right. Okay, so let's get that nine uh, put in our scorecard and then talk about the overall um, look and feel. I uh, like you'll see here, when I squeeze this soil, even straight out of the bag that's just been stored, um, it gives me a little bit of structure. I really like that. The plants um, would really like that too from a rooting perspective. Not a lot of coarse woody material, fairly consistent, but there was one or two big chunks uh, here and there that I noted, but I still, because of the overall texture of this with just one or two little outliers, I still had this scored as a nine. I scored this one as a nine as well. Just the, the look and feel, it's dark, it, it, it holds together nice, it's got a great texture. So yeah, I scored it as a nine. I, I really like the look and feel of this one. Great, well let's get that put in the scorecard. The only other thing I would add is this one over the last six and a half week grow out took water really well. Um, it just, it maintained water and moisture really well. So just really performed well physically um, outside of just that look um, and feel. Now, Chris, nutritionally, um, what did you notice about uh, this soil? Yeah, so we went ahead and sampled this soil with the MySoil test prior to the grow out. So before we ever saw the plants grow, we evaluated those nutrient levels based on the test uh, that we received. Based on those nutrient levels, um, we were really low on nitrogen on this one, really low. I think we were like two parts per million nitrogen, so very low on nitrogen out of the gate. All our other macronutrients were at or above the optimal range. Our micronutrients were low. Um, and our pH was in the optimal range. So really just that, that nitrogen and micronutrients were missing on this one. And really uh, the driving factor here was um, nitrogen as far as my score on this one, giving it, I gave it a six. So I was at a six as well, and that my soil nutrient density score was a 65%. So it did align, but like Chris mentioned, being all the way down at two parts per million nitrogen um, made me just drop that down a little bit. Chris also mentioned the low micronutrients. That's very typical of soils like this, but the single limiting factor here, in my opinion, was really just that nitrogen, and that's the only thing that took my score down. Yeah. So speaking of that nitrogen, the next question we have to answer is, will it grow? Now we had 100% germination and emergence um, of these plants, and for the first, what, week or two, uh, it wasn't, it was pretty consistent with the others, but it just plain ran out of nitrogen. And we can see those deficiency symptoms here in that older tissue. So I had to score it down um, just because it kind of paused on us after a couple weeks. So I actually had it at a four for will it grow. Early on the first two weeks, they looked great and then just really ran out of, of nutrient. Um, compared to the other plants that we grew at this same time, um, these are very, very small compared to the other plants that we grew for both the lettuce and the tomatoes. So uh, I scored it at a 3.5. You added it at a four. So I think for will it grow on this one, I think we just we got to give it a four. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put that in the scorecard and the overall rating, maybe just how would we overcome that, that low nitrogen? Um, Chris, I'd probably just go with a, a pretty heavy pre-plant organic nitrogen application, maybe some feather meal, blood meal, a 12 zero, 0 and I might even top dress mid-season. Um, would you do something different than that? No, I'd do the, I'd do the same thing, and that would be guided by the test, uh, by the my soil test, obviously. Uh, this soil, best use for me, uh, I think, you know, bulking up an, an existing raised bed, 
um, knowing we might need some of that nitrogen addition uh, at some point or even because of the price point being you know a little bit lower we could use this to add organic matter to a native soil garden those were the top best uses I had for this soil. Yeah, um, I'm, and if you mentioned it, I apologize, I didn't catch it. Um, seed start too. Yeah. I, I could see yeah. using this as a seed start and then, you know, once you're done there, getting those those transplanted out. Yeah, I, I look and feel, I, I just, I really like this soil. Yeah, I do too. And I think it's a great value just knowing we need just a little bit of nitrogen. Well, hopefully you enjoyed our review of this Mother Earth TerraCraft potting soil. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification so you don't miss any of our other reviews or videos. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon in the lab.